Yes, we had plenty of supplies. Uh, ammunition, of course, was the key. We had plenty of ammunition. That's another story. We had our artillery, 105 howitzer shells. We had to load uh, powder separately in bags, you know, according to how far you're going to shoot and all that kind of stuff. And at that time we had what is called a, a fuse on the end that we'd set a timer. So if we wanted to, for it to go off before, it, before impact, uh, you'd set the time. Well, that was pretty tricky because you had to know, you know, what angle and how far. All this stuff was computed, but it was very inaccurate and kind of dangerous if you're shooting in support. In fact, if we shoot close support, we wouldn't, we wouldn't use that. But uh, it, was, it just was very, it wasn't too good. But about halfway through, they came out with a proximity fuse, and you would set all you all you had to do was set it. It would go off either on impact or delayed, you know, for for penetration, or five sec five yards, not time, five yards up, ten yards up, and you could set th that, and that and that was a great improvement. A major improvement in technology in firing artillery at that time. Uh, I, a, I told you we had a tree burst, or did I? On the air or before? It was before. Before. Yeah, if you want to talk about that. Well, do you want it? <laughs> please, please. Well, speaking of fuses and, and fun, we were firing, my battery was firing. Not, we did a lot of support, individual batteries individually. Once in a while, the whole battalion, three batteries were all, 12 guns going. But that was a rare occasion. Mostly, my battery was here and their battery, you know, over there, we were supporting smaller smaller units. So we were in close support of this artillery, I mean, uh, cavalry troop, I guess, which is equivalent to an infantry company. And we find real close support. See, the howitzer trajectory is very high and lobbed, and uh, that way we could fire close support because it's a howitzer, not a rifle, not a gun. And we were firing close support with this, in support of this uh, troop, and I had a Ford Observer up there with him, and he yelled, cease fire, tree burst. That meant that one of our rounds, he hit a tree just above our troops and killed four guys. Well, I, it's, it's, so I would holler cease fire, and I mean, I, I shook. I, man, you, you ain't supposed to do that. But it, was, it wasn't our fault. It was a tree burn. The tree was, they were just calling for it to come in so close. So the troop commander got on the radio with me. He said, don't stop. Keep it coming. We got to have it. Wasn't your fault. Tree got in the way. You can't help it. Keep it so we can re That kind of thing. You know, it gets a little hairy, but you roll with it.